That's like, you know, somebody's going to kiss. That's terrible. Yeah. Now I have that. Yeah. That's way too much. Yeah, well, it's one every day. Yeah. So that was, yeah. When I was swimming every day at 30, let's this do it. This meeting is being recorded. I will call the meeting to order at 5.30 p.m. Monday, the 15th of July. Roll call. Cinda is excused. Will Bromland. Here. Oh. <laughs> Angelica Johnson here. Donna. Present. Marianne. Here. Michael. Here. And Leslie. Here. And Jason. Here. Okay. So Matt Cook is absent. Absent as of right now. Good start. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about the minutes from last time. Did there any everybody read it and, or anybody? Did you read it? The well, minutes. I no, I, I I know what you're asking. I, 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 yes. Approve. I, 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 I will make I, a motion I, to approve. I, I move. I move the, the, the approval. Approved. I not Correspondence <laughs> and communication. Anyone? Yes. No. No public. No old business. How good we have. Oh. So moving right along. Gee, it's your turn. Statistics. All right. Well, I got the end of uh, fiscal year statistics uh, on the sheet below your agenda. Um, oh, Donna, I should have emailed these to you. That's fine. No worries. I, 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 <laughs> um, Basically, so I, I have them um, in parenthesis is last year's fiscal year numbers. Um, so we can compare um, from this year to the previous year. And they're pretty close where uh, you can see adult books um, really actually very close. Uh, 15,609 adult books checked out this past fiscal year versus 16,000 the year before. Uh, kids' books have increased. We uh, almost hit the 6,000 mark at 5,970, and the year before was 5,237. Uh, audio CDs are down. I guess people are streaming. Uh, they're down quite a bit. Um, and DVDs are slightly down. Uh, still checked out 21,911, which I don't think is anything to sneeze at. Um, it was almost 25,000 the year before. Um, but again, we are in this transition of people streaming stuff and um yeah i was going to ask how that relates because you have to, i was just looking to see if you have the oh um oh you know what I that matters the uh canopy but just canopy, in general sorry yeah um i don't have that on here do no, I? it's no big deal i just wondered if that didn't have to be at all that's uh from what i i've seen of it that is staying pretty steady um but uh, the streamers, they're, they're big, Netflix and all the other ones. Um, and the upsetting thing is that they're not releasing things on DVD. Not everything gets released on DVD yes. anymore. And it's, right. it's a bummer for those of us that like to collect uh, physical there, items. There is a, a new Canopy program. So the county has uh, a Canopy program yes. now, too. Yes. Ours is... Uh, Friends, right? Yes, ours is sponsored by the friends. Ours yeah. is a little bit more robust. And, but it goes by, you can only watch so many, whereas the county's is like uh, unlimited. Oh, it is? Yeah, that's what it said on that email. I am looking into that. They, they're not offering everything that, the, you know, that our canopy has, but they're, they're offering more educational. Uh -huh. And some older stuff but, okay but it is unlimited excellent it's really great um the annex is uh down by about 600 items uh, but still managed to check out over 5815 items from there um and then you can just see the children's library is the same kind of up and down uh overall doing better this year um i added a ton of kids' books uh, right before um, school let out. So I updated uh, all of our graphic novel series, made sure that we were uh, up to date and had the latest uh, ones of those. Uh, same with our fiction series for kids. 
uh, added a bunch of really cool, uh, beautiful picture books. Um, yeah, board books are up, early readers are down, uh, and picture books are up by almost 600, so that's really good. Um, adult visits are up, and really, I think that's, a, that's tourist visitors, too. We have gotten so many people come through, just, uh, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> the other Saturday, it was 1.55, and we close it, too, and I was just really, I get really nervous, because you turn around yeah. and all of a sudden there's like, and I did, like, I was talking to someone and then 30 people walked through and went right upstairs like they knew where they were going and like, okay, five minutes guys. Um, but we are getting a lot of uh, really cool, like library lovers, uh, library workers uh, that just uh, are really excited uh, since we've been in the news, people are coming to see uh -huh. us, um, which is great. We, we do love that. Um, and children's visits seem to be up as well. So that's really great. Um, interlibrary loans, uh, pretty close, um, maybe slightly down. Um, we added more users. It's just it's very interesting how everything is pretty close. Like this year we added 459 new users. The year before we added 442. Um, it's, Pretty amazing. Um, Hotspots, culture passes. Culture passes are way up. Yeah, yeah that people are. are yeah. yeah, that we have them, how to use them, um, you know, after winter. Um, and we had over a thousand packs of seeds checked out last year. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. All the seeds. Um, and then you can see uh, the uh, items added. We've got uh, books and kids' books um, and DVDs. Um, I think that last previous year DVD was so much more. We must have gotten a bunch of donations that we put at the annex. Um, and then programs are up. Adult programs. Um, we did 229 adult programs last year. Uh, versus 175. Uh, participation is uh, way up. Um, and kids programs, we did one more than the previous year, 202 uh, we did. And gosh, kids participants are pretty pretty uh, close from year to year. Um, and public computer use, I'm missing a number there. I just saw that. It was 4,620 something. Um, it's funny, so all this, you know, we are still coming out of COVID. So there's these program attendance, people using the internet, um, that's slowly rising back up to where we were before. But it's just amazing that we're still still coming out of it. Yeah. Um, and then tools, because I, I switched around the way that um, we, uh, the statistics are um, received from the tools, so I don't have, last year's number, and I, if this is only February through June, but um, I have to tell you, the tool library is one of my favorite things, and last Friday I was over at the annex, and right when we opened, someone came in and checked out the manual push mower, you know, the old rotary one, and it's just got the blades. Uh, we turned it an hour later, they said we just have a little small uh, yard to mow, and then uh, an hour later, someone else came in and checked it out. So, <laughs> it's really, really so, cool. since we're talking about the tool library, Yes. So I went to use the tool library, and apparently the Amex settled for one. Yes. Last Wednesday. Oh, that storm. Wait, was that Wednesday? Uh huh. Yeah, Wednesday. Yes. Is so. Damage or? No. So the um, the water came off the front of the building. It was just so much water, so much volume of water at at so quickly. Yeah. And it backed in because you know that's all just downhill. Right. There is like a channel dug around, but um, it was just too much water. And all the front rooms, I think three of the front rooms got flooded uh, with water just coming under the door. But I have to tell you, uh, Bisbee Unified School District, they were on it like that. They cleared out all the rooms themselves. They took out our rugs, they took them out to the back ramada. They had all this industrial drying fans, dehumidifiers. Um, mm -hmm. They, uh -huh. they did everything. It was wonderful. Too. <laughs> we just put everything back together on Friday. Everything was dried out. They still are going to have someone come in and test for mold. Um, but honestly, it didn't smell. 
it, it's like nothing happened. So I think they did a really good job with that. But yeah, flood in the desert. Right. Um, Flat and books that usually hit. So and what I did got you got there? And I looked at that and I went. So you were oh, yeah, next Monday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and then since we're on the tool library, um, take a look at this. Uh, this is not tools, but part of our library of things, new um, additions that um, the friends sponsored. Uh, so more yard games. We've got uh, horseshoe sets. Um, there's actually a couple uh, courts over in Vista Park. Um, two of the bocce ball courts were turned into horseshoe courts. So. Uh, you can play horseshoes and bisbee, giant Jenga, um, which keeps getting checked out, uh, long chart, yes. and then metal detectors. We have two metal detectors, which are the it item right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a, a weed whacker. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, was, I got very excited. Uh, so we tried to add all this uh, right at the beginning of summer, and uh, families are really there, we've got a, a, a list of people waiting to use the metal detectors. <laughs> Everything gets checked out for seven days, so it's a pretty quick turnover. Um, but just exciting stuff, you know. So if you see someone around, I, I'm hoping they're not like in city parks picking up the. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> uh, but really exciting, like I, I, we have so much fun with our library of things and people that come in and, and check, it, you know, to see what we have, which is amazed and uh, just really fun stuff. Um, so does anyone have any questions about the statistics? No. Thank you so much for putting this together every time, Jason. Oh, yeah. Well, honestly, and I, we hang this in the elevator. Like, people, I think it's really interesting. And people yeah. have, like, yes. just to Even know. Even tourists like to know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Right. Um, I, it, it's important to us, you know, that, that people, you know, Know that we are literate here in this We read a lot of books. I mean, that 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 is nothing. That is a lot of books. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, nothing has changed in staffing. Um, what about the young man that's done? The young man is a volunteer. I see. Oh. Yes. So we've gotten some. Um, we have to working with a couple. Um, yeah, Jackson works uh, three days a week at the front desk here. Um, and then we're working with um, an organization that actually does job training skills for um, people um, with special abilities or disabilities. So uh, there's a young uh, woman that's um, volunteering over at the annex and, and learning how to uh, work in a library, um, yeah. her, her job skills and life skills, and, and she loves it. And now she's thinking about going to library school. Wow, and that's really great. really <laughs> cool. Um, my email. I should, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me write that down. Yeah, so this, um, and off the top of my head, I'm not going to remember what the organization is, but the, um, the, the, the call them a, a coach or an advocate, actually work with the person there. So we don't, um, we don't oversee them, which is good because we can do our thing. And so we've trained them kind of both together and now they're just, they're working as a team. Um, but it's great. And this person really likes organization and likes to go and find books that are not, you know, out of place. And I love that. That's so, <laughs> <laughs> really cool. <laughs> um, programming. So um, believe it or not, next week is the last week of summer fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's really? almost over. Oh, it starts starts over. Over. All yeah. Yeah. So Allison, and, it, it's it's been a fast summer, and Allison and Gretchen um, have um, done a really great job of um, putting these programs together uh, throughout the summer. They did. Uh, we had a foam party. That's F O A M, like bubbles. Um, <laughs> that. Uh, over at the annex, and we had, I think, 75 kids. <laughs> the whole patio was bubbles. <laughs> and, like big foam things? Or? Like, imagine the washing machine, you know, like on TV when someone put too much detergent in the washing machine yes. and all these bubbles came oh, out. And, like, you walk through it and you, like. I've heard about it in nightclubs, but not the one. Yeah, well, 
Yes, it's a thing. And uh, so we, uh, this, um, this guy that he uh, booked a bunch of libraries around Cochise County. So we all got a discount since, you know, he was able to do a bunch of them. So he just kind of made his way like, and everyone was super successful. Douglas had one. Um, they had a ton of kids. Uh, Huachuca City had one. Uh, I think Sierra Vista had one. So, Georgia. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, oh. um, and then we did uh, we did a van tour uh, with Freeport, uh, which is always fun. So we go on their property and they drive us around to the reclamation sites. Um, and then we went up on top where they shoot the fireworks off of dump number seven. Um, and we were just about ready to look for turquoise. And there was uh, they have like these. Um, little sensors that if lightning is too close. Yeah. So we had to go. <laughs> um, we did a tour, uh, a walking tour down at the San Pedro last week with uh, Doug Danforth. Uh -huh. um, and we did uh, glow in the dark art. And um, this Wednesday is the end of summer party at the Old Field Oasis. Um, we've had it there for the last, I think, three years. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it, it's been great. Um, we've, uh, I just put in just uh, our July schedule just to, so you can see uh, what else is going on this month. Um, but our Tuesday evening programs have been uh, really well attended um, and Allison's putting together a schedule for fall. Um, and yeah, we're, we're uh, open art studio, all the our, our ongoing monthly programs, um, we're sticking with all that. Um, chess club here on Saturdays is really successful. We had about 22 people play chess on Saturday. Oh. Um, so you have it here and at the annex? Yeah, they do one once a month at the <laughs> annex. Now that's their summer schedule. Um, and so they'll probably take hiatus for August and then they'll probably come back in the fall and do another uh, round. Uh, but really super, uh, so it's all ages and like literally you'll have uh, a little kid playing an adult, which is it's really cool. <laughs> um, and uh, a lot of people coming in uh, recently that have never played chess before and want to learn. So um, Nick Mueller's the, um, he runs Coach's Chess and he's so good. I, I don't know how he does it because someone will come in and be like, I don't know anything about chess. And then the next person will come in and be like, I'm pretty good at chess. And he's able to set everyone up and teach them skills and also challenge people who are really good at it. So he's good. Um, and then um, just, this is really cool. Um, Charles Bowden, do you guys know who Charles uh, Bowden is? He's, he was a journalist, uh, he lived in Tucson. Um, he was, did a lot of uh, border writing um, and um, didn't really, uh, really told the story how it is and was, he, he has passed away. Um, so a lot of his uh, books were kind of gritty um, and, you know, as the boy can be. Um, Anyway, so he, uh, he has written a lot of books that we have, but uh, he also uh, was a lover of photography and he collected a lot of photography books and a lot of um, photographers from Mexico that are just not well known. Um, so his trust reached out to me uh, a few months ago and was wondering if they could donate a collection of his photography books that he collected. Um, and um, there wasn't, over, it was like one shelf for it, so I was able to move things around and uh, be able to fit that in. But really, uh, really great partnership. Um, you know, they came down, they were just so excited. They reached out because they thought this was, Bisbee was the perfect place to have these books um, because we are such an art town um, and just an admirer of art. And um, they thought this would be a really great fit. And uh, we have them now, they, I've cataloged them all. They're, um, they all have book plates um, saying you know, that they came from this trust. Um, and uh, yeah, a really great kind of showcase of photographers, you know, and a lot of names that you'll recognize. Um, 
and some just yet yeah, not well known. I really especially like the, the Mexican photographers. Really great. Um, they're older, so you just see how things used to look. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just uh, upstairs. And they're upstairs. Top. Yeah, right now I have that on the display table. There's a display with one of these, just letting people know that we have uh -huh. it. Um, yeah, there's a shelf in the photography section that's just dedicated to this collection um, for people to check out. So, Jack Don King uh, is an outstanding. Do you know uh, Arizona Highways? Is, yeah, is where a lot of his work is. Yeah. Okay, you know, I've been to photography. And yeah, that so he is. I consider myself an amateur photographer, stress on amateur, but you know, I mean, I'm a big fan of his. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. so there are books. Have to check that out He's I'm got sorry. some books up there, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> um, and then uh, I just wanted to update you all on the incident that we had here on June 14th. Um, and uh, There's really not anything to update because nothing, we don't know anything. Nothing? No, nothing. No. Um, but um, I can say um, that um, this was specifically targeted against our drag story hour that we did. Um, and the thing is that we, we didn't receive any phone calls, any emails. No one walked in with questions or concerns or just one, you know. Yeah. About it on social media and they, there was the there was a lot of, of what, what happened. What's that? Bitched about it on social media and that some outsiders yeah. that's what yeah. happened. So we had a we had a wonderful program um, that Friday morning. Uh, we had about forty five people attend. Forty five. Uh huh. Um, we had no one out front protesting um, when we did it in twenty nineteen. We did have a few people with signs out front, very peaceful. Uh, they did their protest in my home, um, and. Uh, yeah, so we, we did have a great time, and uh, that evening we had our concert uh, celebrating the National Medal up at City Park, and I went home, and I was like, wow, like, this went really well, you know, and then about 10 o'clock, there was a really heavy knock on my front door, um, and I opened it, and there was a police officer standing there, um, and instructed me to leave the house immediately, because there was a bomb threat on my property at the library. Um, mm -hmm. an old address that um, Allison lived at uh, and someone an address that someone worked here uh, a long time ago. Um, yes, yeah, so that tells you that it's not yeah. that it's not somebody from here because then yeah. that wouldn't have been happening. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know <laughs> the shock. The shock. Yeah. The shock. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the the police were they you know they they did what they had to do they took it seriously as they should have um, they evacuated my neighborhood. Um, Everyone knows where you live now. <laughs> but I have to tell you, my neighbors, uh, the community, the outreach um, that people people were just appalled by it, um, and um, we certainly understand that this is not for everyone and that. You know, people that didn't want to come should should not come. And yes. um, we did partner with. Um, it was a partnership with Pride. It was a partnership with uh, Drag Story Hour Arizona. <coughs> um, we had met with the city manager beforehand and talked to him. You know, wanted to get his buy-in before we did it. Um, and we all sat and we all agreed like this. This is a you know this is for our community and this is you know our community. Some of our community wanted this, so, um, so right. So th that's um, we did have a, um, a critical incident uh, meeting uh, the next week. Maybe it was the week after that. But um, library staff and the personnel director and um, uh, someone who was trained in critical incidents sat with us for about two hours and uh, kind of talked things through. And it was really good, actually. Um, they were up to like a debriefing, kind of, and just kind of just check in and see how people are doing. And honestly, I, I just my I was just disappointed that this is where we're at and this is how people behave. Again, we 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 welcome people to come in if they have questions um, and to um, if they need 
you know, what is this? Like, you know, like the stuff that was put out on Facebook was not accurate. Um, it was misinformation. It's, it's not, this is not a sexualized program. This is not um, indoctrination. This, this was, they, they read uh, a book uh, called Pride Baby. It was about two African-American uh, gay men and their uh, adopted uh, kid going to a pride parade. And he also um, wrote, uh, read a book about, um, uh, it was embarrassing, I can't remember who this guy is. The guy who helped Martin Luther King Jr. Um, in the March on Washington. Uh, a story about him and uh, how they fought for civil rights. Um, so that was the program, and again, we, just, we had a wonderful time. And um, it's just that they wouldn't drive. It's the whole thing is that they wouldn't. Drive. But I looked at that, and it wasn't it was, like obvious drag. It was a it was a drag king, and right. They, it was just a very colorful. Yeah, I know. It was Roger just. This guy. Yeah, it was like a person in a rainbow outfit. Yeah. Well, I think that's the talking point, right? Which is yeah. like the kids see it, it's like a clown, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. it's just a person dressed up telling a story and it encourages enthusiasm for literacy because kids like people who dress up. Yeah. And it also shows the kids, this is what I told people, that it's okay to dress up. If you're a boy, you can dress up as a girl, and if you're a girl, you can dress up as a boy. Well, and you know, I mean, that's all. I don't know. I'm sort of exhausted by the whole discourse because yeah. I've been in the discourse for about four years now. It's exhausting. Um, do you guys do you cover that like in? I do. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. any kind of, you know, that this is, would, would be a ban against the program. Um, yeah. But yeah, that we reported that. It was reported to the FBI, um, obviously. Um, that just went to OIF because I know they collect, yeah. they, they collect stats and data. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and that conversation with him was was very. Um... Oops. Mm-hmm. 